Hello everybody on YouTube, this is King J. Fox, your host of King J. Fox. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, so today I'm going to tell you and show you what a tick looks like. Apparently, in Vegas, we're not supposed to get ticks, but I pulled one off of my dog today. I put it on this uh, paper plate. Let's see if I can get a good look at this ugly little bastard. Yeah, so I don't know how well you're seeing this, um, but this is what a tick looks like. They're a parasite, they're ugly, and sometimes the only way you can remove them is by burning them. <sighs> now, ticks, I've removed ticks before. I've had uh, quite a few times I've removed them. But they're still pretty gross. Ticks are probably one of the second or third most worst parasites out there. They feed off of humans and dogs, cats, and quite frankly a lot of animals get them. Like I said in Vegas we're not supposed to get them but I found that one on my dog. At least one of them. So now I'm going to show you how to search your dogs and cats and if you have any birds, which I don't have any birds to show you, but I will show you how to search your dogs at least. And a cat or two. First things first. Let's get the dog I first found. Come here, Red. Come here, buddy. This is Red. See how he's all laying about? He's just happy that he just got love right now. This now dogs like red you can usually spot them right away on. You can usually see him right on him, he'll just search everywhere. Their fur is pretty easy to search. If they're short hair like him. Now for other dogs like Come here, my dog. Come here. Malibu, come here. I call one dog and I get the entire pack. Okay. Red says he's not done. He says he wants me to keep searching him. He likes it. He likes to be searched. He wants to be searched for these nasty old parasites. That's weird. Now, for little longer hair dogs like shepherds, like Malibu here, it's best to take your fingers and just go through the fur check them sometimes you'll find like little bumps which is an indicator that's where they're at other times you won't find anything and it seems right now I'm not finding objective shit with Malibu so alright Malibu go lay down you, you're all done yeah also check behind their ears too. They just look like that. Sometimes ticks will go into their ear canals or around their ears. If you don't give them a good thorough check, which I'm not a veterinarian, but sometimes if you don't give them a good check, you'll usually miss a tick or two. Well, that seems to be it. Uh, Malibu. Malibu doesn't have any cool. This is my old. Dog Watson. And Watson's also a long haired dog, so you want to really give him what. Little dogs, they usually. They are long haired, but. When you're searching for ticks, once again, check their ears, check underneath their belly, because sometimes you know, ticks will hang out over here, they'll hang out in the throat. And it seems he's good. He doesn't have any ticks on him. Okay, cool. 
Now you real if you find the tick on one dog, like I said, you might want to check all your dogs. Now the chance that you find multiple ticks is usually pretty low. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's many. I've had incidents back in California where I used to live where I find about 12 to 15. Ticks also can be on you. So if you have a dog that you let sleep on your bed, you might want to check yourself for ticks. Mm, another note. Puppies are more vulnerable to ticks as well. If you have puppies, check your puppies for your ticks because at the time they might not look like it. Ticks are pretty harmful to all animals. Now we're going to check mamas here. Ah, uh -huh. red, go lay down. You know mamas doesn't like you getting into her face. Come on. Go. Good boy. Mama's here. Yeah, come on, go away, red. Don't be so jealous. I already checked you. Look, I'm going to check you again. Yeah. And when you have a jealous dog that wants multiple attention, sometimes it's best to check it a couple times. Because you might you not know, have seen it the first time, but you will see hints of ticks. Now, as far as I know, ticks sometimes start out black. But if they grow into a little white ball looking thing. Come on, Red! Get over here. They grow into a white little creep in your as they get bigger <sighs> from drinking blood. Like I said, sometimes you have dogs like Red here who love to lay on your bed. So check your bed as well for ticks. Because sometimes they'll be laying around and you won't even notice them. Other times, you can notice them right away. Ticks are probably the most annoying insects parasitic insects at that that you'll find. So if you get ticks on you, the best way I know is to burn them off. Some people say you can use olive oil to get them off. I prefer good old-fashioned burning because it makes the ticks loosen up and their heads won't stick into the uh, animal's body or person's body you're trying to pull it off. Be careful not to burn the animal or person because it has happened before. <laughs>